the reason I, I did pay them. How much did you pay them starting when? I started paying them when they first started. Give uh, me the the date. first check was in April of 18th. I received a bill for $111.92. April of what year? That was paid of 2018. Okay, so, so that it was paid. paid. So yes. then, as far as you were concerned, you were current? Absolutely. Okay, is that correct? That is correct. All right, so it's after April. What bill did you get after April? Here's a bill from June 15th for $432.49. Did you pay it? I paid it, and the check was cashed three months later, I found out. But they were not crediting me the money. I was giving them checks, and they did not credit me. They were what? waiting three months to cash the checks while they were gone for three months back east doing something with the Boy Scouts. Just a second. What months do you allege he owes you for? May, June, and July. So he got a bill on June 5th, he said, of 2018 for $432. I don't believe that's correct. Who did you write the check to? I have to you. Who's that? That says Byerlin. I'm not Byerlin. Yeah, but you were working for the I time. Was not. No, that's June. I was not. Then why were you sending me the, the I... bills? Byerlin is not me. She sent you that bill. But it was for the time no, you no, were working for her. This is a... I'm sorry. Don't answer her. Okay. How much did you pay your former accountant a month to do the work for you, your billing, et cetera? It was approximately $150 a month. Okay. So when you paid $432 and you pay that in June, you pay that to the old accountant. Who was not doing any of the work. She had a stroke. But she had to have cashed the check. Yeah, she was cashing it, but then she should have reimbursed them. Well, I don't know that. She doesn't know that. Now, May, June, and July, he had been paying the old accountant $150 approximately a month. You have a bill for $2,286. What is that for? So we had to go back. So there was payroll that was twice a month. There was a payroll tax return. Um, and then we had to go back and do input that Ms. Byerlin had never done for 2017. Did you discuss that with him first? Yeah, he actually dropped everything to, off. For 2017? Yeah. And you discussed that with him? He had dropped the paperwork off and asked us to input what, it. Did you discuss what your fee would be with him? Yes, and he actually the first invoice he paid and it has our fee on there. May I see it, please? Yes. The one hundred eleven dollars and ninety two cents was the current amount. Correct. And he did pay that. Customer total balance was for when? It was for that time period. So it was the total balance. For work that you did? Work I did or my employees did. And that's that work? Yes. Did you turn that work back over to him? Yes. When? I believe July 17th he had contacted our office and had us forward the QuickBooks file to the person who was going to take over. And that was completed. And she... Oh, just a second. So you never turned it over to him. He was firing your company and turning it over to somebody else. Yes. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Do you remember this invoice, sir? Yes, I do. Did you ever question the amount at the bottom? No. Why? Because I paid it. $2,288? Excuse me, this is 11 100 No, it said previous balance, $2,288. Oh, yeah, I did question it. Tell me about the discussion when you questioned it. The discussion was when I gave a check on June 15th, and this was the balance sheet, they weren't crediting me the checks that I was giving them, number one. Can I see? Because you were making them payable to whom? Well, I was paying to uh, my old don't, accountant. Just, 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 don't, just tell me, the name you were making the checks payable to was who? Was Byron's. Okay, that's who you have to sue. 